Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs and today we're playing some more Roguelands on the new 1.1.0 update. Jolt's put out a community post different from the one I talked about last video. If you missed last video, it's my first video on the new update and with my new setup. Jolt's posted that the 1.1 update should be the final update to the game, which is, I mean, and by the game, I don't mean Borderlands 2. I mean, Rogue Lands the mod. And it's it's a sad day to, to potentially be seeing the very last update. They've made a whole bunch of updates. Ooh, that's a nice launcher for the four spot. Let's pick up two other guns. Wait, no, I already have four guns, I'm pretty sure. So I can just launcher swap this right now. And that Umbridge was looking kind of promising. It's shock. It's got the Vlad off barrel. I'm not sure about the other parts or, or whatnot. It looks like a Tor grip. I'm not sure what each of these parts do. Something that I really like about Bo about Borderlands 3 and get ready for a Borderlands 3 talk. Because I have been spamming that game. Max health actually does make some sense on zero, but I already got cooldown. I already got cooldown. So that's a and the cooldown is just a super nice stat all around. I don't want to overlook a good scatter gun. This one's got bandit grip, which doesn't help it. Okay. And having a Hyperion sniper rifle is usually pretty trash. I'm not even going to give the time of day, but I will. That's, you know, and that's just on me. First five points. Again, I get five points for playing Rogue Lands Mini. One point in optics makes a lot of sense. I'm going to go four points in critical hit damage. I have been playing a ton of zero. I'm sorry, a ton of flak in Borderlands 3. Uh, it's my first time playing as flak. And it has been an incredible experience. I just got my first Monarch. I, I beat the main story, which put me at about level 46, 47. I'd, I'd done some pit stops with some buddies, doing arms race, doing some of the... Doing some of the slaughter shaft and things like that with my with my friends. Some pit stops some, and also farming gear along the way. I'm a, I'm a gear farmer. So I was level 45 or so. Beat the final boss, doing fadeaway flak with. I was doing rack attack as my action skill for the first bit, and then I swapped over to fadeaway once I um, had the gear and once I had enough skill points to get the action skill augment that allows fadeaway, aka deception. So it's like it's the same skill as deception, except in deception, when you shoot once, it ends. In fadeaway, you get to shoot three times, which is very cool, except you can get a you can get an augment to it that allows it to go beyond the three seconds go beyond those first three shots and instead just be time based oh and by the way in what's going on with my my aim is looking a little bit funky oh it's my optics i'm so zoomed in that's what it is okay noted noted that there is a downside to it that singularity actually the pullback helped me out quite a bit there my deception out use my full shot in the crit here there we go so in Deception, you want to aim for a crit to deal max damage, and you instead get a big damage boost. In Fadeaway, Flax, one of Flax's three, three action skills base game, four action skills if you pay to win. Um, everything he does crits. I'm not sure if he gets bonus damage or not. It feels like he does, but everything he does crits. So you just get a weapons with tons of projectiles. Um, and the the more it, and he also has on hits that get your action skill back faster. So you just you get weapons with the most projectiles possible, so you can keep procking on hits and keep getting your fadeaway back, and then keep procking on hit crits, and then fadeaway back and on hit crits. So there's a, a an assault rifle that gets eight projectiles or sixteen projectiles depending on which variant you have and your ammo consumption concerns. And you just go fadeaway builds with that. It's, like, it's ridiculous. It's called the Monarch. But so when you when you beat the game, you got you don't just get the Monarch at the Mayhem 11 or Mayhem 10 for free. You know you have to work for it. You have to kill Killavolt for its drop source, which is not an easy fight. Um, if you watch Spartan Game Zone's most recent video about how to, or it's like the, I forgot what he was even called because when I started watching, I feel like the title didn't match the video. The video was like something like Top 10 Gear or something like that. But what it really was was more of like a guide of how to a lot of it was how to gear up in mayhem 10 a lot faster and the first thing you do is go to monkey's bar and you tip her you tip her 
money until she gives you the Miss Moxie's crit, which has bonus critical hit damage, which actually it has really nice synergy with Flak. Uh, cooldown rate. I'm gonna take that Hyperion damage and Hyperion reload speed because if we end up going for like a conference call or like a butcher or something like that, we're gonna be happy we have that relic. Uh, let's see what we get here. TDR SMG, really nice for Chucks. This Emerald Sniper goes pretty hard. It's a nice slag tool as well. We're gonna put it in slot one. Okay, some level leveling grace. It's a replacement for my SMG slot if I get a different. Type of enemy to shoot at. So say if I go against robots or something like that. Let's I want to compare these two to see. Uh, I'm sorry. I want to compare these two pistols to see which one I like better. So the fire rate clearly goes to the umbridge, but for 400,000 less damage. I'm sorry, for 40,000 less damage. We could math this out. They both consume two ammo per shots. You know, we, we could, I could math this out real quick. What's, if I go on my phone and I go to my calculator and I go three, 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 two times 3.2. It's 1,062, okay? Can you remember that number for me, 1,062? And 370 times 2.2, .2, I get 814. I'm sorry, that's not, it's not supposed to be 2.2, .2, it's 2.3, but even so, 370 times 2.3, it's 851. It's not even close to the amount of DPS that the blue umbridge is giving me. As far as shock options, we still have our number one. Okay. Had to break down those numbers real quick, real quack. Let's go ahead and deception out. We're gonna start throwing some Teslas. Speed up our clear a little bit here. So if you did, if you did miss my last video, criminals. If you did miss my last video, um, a big update that was made was on round end or round clear. When you complete the objective on the right hand side, which is your 15 enemies, you get super speed and invincibility for the rest of the round, which is going to come into play heavily right here. Watch well, super speed activates after my 15, right? I will take this Scarlet Racket Shell. The presence could be exactly what we're looking for. Let's equip it, and then we can... Ooh, wow. Let's equip it, and then we'll go swap over to our Hyperion Damage and Reload Speed. Could be a good weapon to use. I stick with Turtle. Turtle Shield over that other grenade. I'm trying to slide like it's Borderlands 3. Holy moly. So anyways, like I was saying, if you get, if, what I like to do is use, use the guns that I collected along the way in Borderlands 3 to get to max level. Let's go for critical hit damage and reload speed. And the next, next round we'll be able to get boar. And we have boar for free when you play zero. Oh, it feels so good. He's the one character that just gets boar. I've, with all the randomizer runs I've been doing, it's like I, something I'm looking out for a lot is... Give me a second here. I got to focus up and try to hit some crits. It's not working out very well. There we go. Let's go for a melee strike. Another one. Third one. Fourth. Five. That was five melee strikes. Not the worst. Is a grenade at my feet. Good run. That was a nice run away. Playing smart. Playing good basketball. Ow. That hurt. Can we get him though? We're getting bashed. Melee, sh melee form though. No transfusion to speak of. There's one crit. Go for this crit far away. Cool. I, I'm, I understand that I have a Hyperion Relic that I'm not currently using. What in the world? Oh, he's inside the wall, this guy. He's inside the Jolt's wall. How could you do that to me? N new name for those walls that aren't their base game but are here for Rogue Lands purposes. Those are Jolt's walls. I've never heard of them. Well, that was just a horrible shot. There we go. There we go. Console players have it easy when it comes to landing those quick scope crits, I swear. And when I turned on auto aim, I had someone in the comment section, or I didn't turn, when I turned on the aim assist function, so gameplay, where's aim assist? I swear it's here somewhere. 
keyboard and mouse yeah aim assist right here when i turned this on i had someone in the comment section being like you don't have to you don't have to um admit to anything but it, here's a bunch of timestamps. i know you're a cheater it's like i ha yeah i told him i have aim assist on <laughs> like it's an i'm not cheating but i turned it off oh a little gatlin gun that's gonna be a great dps option if i can get a jacobs if i can get myself a jacobs relic or something like that holy Pistol damage, that's, I mean, we don't have a pistol damage or any uh, any type of weapon damage upgrade quite yet, either. So we rock and we roll. I would like a little bit of healing, no healing. Sticky Love Transfusion with a 1.3. I take the Fire Burst and I use it against these enemies real quack. Okay, let's throw all five. That should do a good job clearing. And then I pick up this grenade. I pick up the sticky lob transfusion and I also throw one of those. Hopefully it'll find an enemy. I see a, a Mopey's candy down there. I'll save it for next round. Cool. Those transfusions should heal me back to full. And we're big bowling. Deception out. Mopey's candy, we wait. Doesn't look like this guy's gonna stop moving. We're just gonna go for the DPS. There we go. What'd you drop me? A shock sniper. I honestly think this Emerald one's still our best DPS option. That, the fact that that took me several crits against that one enemy, I'm like, I'm not too sure if I want to be using that. Only one more enemy. Oh, I really thought my, my third shot would land there, but I only had two of them. I don't have to fight this guy, but I'm going to do it for my own. Okay, never mind. Um, I want to get the Relic. Here we go. Second wind or... Pistol max ammo. Take the pistol max ammo. Let's see. Team accuracy. Kill confirmed to precision. Fire rate plus 30%. Just because this has melee damage on it is not a... That doesn't mean that it's bad for gun builds. R plus 6 rising shot is incredible. Cool. Anything good here? Let's take this adaptive shield for sure. Sticky longbow merv. Time seven. I mean, that's a pretty nice grenade. I've been looking at more and more of the of the gear here since playing Borderlands three. That's for sure. Double penetrating rod. I can speed up its bullets. A little bit slow on the fire, but I can I can juice it up. Does any of these have a high fire rate? A horror show is a Vlados sniper, which is Dece. I can pick up this, the fire rate of this pistol a little bit. Take a repeater. Take a TMP and let's roll. I'm going to go... I'm sticking left side tree. I'm going boar. And then I'm going to do... I'm going to put some more respect on Velocity's name, the one shot, one kill's name. How, despite how crazy that sounds to me right now, saying it out loud. I'm going to do it anyways. Let's see what the kind of damage we're talking about right here. I think Velocity's going to help this torque pistol a lot, so. Go down. I could be throwing a fire. My, I, I have fire burst that would just easily clear this. I like to use the guns, you know what I'm saying? I'm a gun. I put borderlands for the guns. Besides, the grenades are for emergencies. I remember growing up as a kid playing Borderlands 2. The spam nade strat was what me and my brother would do when we ran into bad situations. Plus six ambush, plus six two fame with really nice reload speed. I mean, honestly, this sounds like. Too good to pass up. Okay, I'm going to be immediately switching over to that sniper rifle class mod. To me, this makes the most sense. Headshot and precision. I don't have any points of precision. I am going to do a quick respec. Because the optics one is kind of messing with me a little bit too. So let's go for headshot. One point precision for the accuracy with all weapon types. That opens up Jacob's shotguns to our play style. 
We're gonna go one shot, one kill instead. Cooldown rate. Let's stick with it. We're gonna go try to land crits. This stall of sniper should do the job just fine. Looking at those fire rates, they're pretty slow. This one's much higher though. This one has a higher fire rate and higher damage at the cost of the same magazine size. Let's just use it for a second. Let's just see this. Oh, this is basically nothing buffing it up at all. Honestly, that's not even bad. Okay. Later, kid. Not even bad at all. I think tier, for, for me, tier one is definitely... Oh, a lob shock transfusion. That's much better. This fuse time is a little bit longer, but we can deal with that for the ability to shred people's shields as well. This is a nice shield. with 1.29 second recharge. Okay. Open up all the wretches. I'm just... I'm really hoping for, like, a, a random legendary somewhere. Okay, so... This, this umbrage could be D's. Fire rate 3.2. Let's just... I'll take it. I think I got my slag taken care of with this doll sniper. Alright, so... I believe that we want to get... Up here? Ah, oh, shoot. Get me up there. Get me up here. Jump me. Oh, how do we get up there? Is it right here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, from here now, we jump and we make it to the, the pressure pad. Let's go. Okay, so this Diab... Hmm. None of these shotguns are really doing the trick for me. Which is sad. But this Diab... It's a sniper rifle. It doesn't consume that much ammo. Has decent DPS and a Vlad off barrel. Yeah. I like that. All right, so we're gonna keep going down this tree. One thing about, I mean, this is a really nice, people, people don't give the skill the credit that it deserves. I think it's pretty good. It's not as consistent as velocity, but, the longer you hold down sights, I to me it just makes so much sense. We're gonna take these two points first. But honestly, kill confirm me. I don't know. It's just a lot of critical hit damage. I'm I'm trying to put some respect on just the raw damage the Borderlands can can give you if, if you play it right. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of damage to offer in this game. If you take if you if you you know make use of it. And when you're playing zero, like you're kind of a squishy character. Ambush and rising shot. It's just good stuff. That's what it is. Okay. So we are going to be shooting radios. I would like a slag transfusion. Right now I got a shock one. I would like a slag one. We are going to cap that guy and this guy. I don't mind causing a little bit of chaos around camp. <laughs> me, me when I play Survivor Season 50. Okay, trying to go for that explosion. There we go. These guys are battling it out. I'm gonna maybe I should help one of them. Oh, you get the wild. They're they're really battling it out. You know what? It's a hard enough shot to hit. I'm good. There's two crits. Three crits. I aim down sight for longer, I get more damage, ladies and gentlemen. Tony, it's just good. Mm, I'm not too sure I want to be battling these. Oh, that's a one shot though. Wow, what a hit. And then this should be an easy kill. Which one of you, has anybody won yet? Oh, they're getting close to it. This is when I intervene. Are you kidding me? Come on, give me that crit. Give me that crit. Dang it. There. Show me your crit spot just for a second. There. Maybe I don't even need to go for the crit. Maybe I just go for the regular. There we go. Looks like that arsonist took care of both of them. Thanks, arsonist. Look at them down there. 
It's pretty funny. Okay, let's shoot radio number two. Can I see it from here? No, this is the one spot in the map I can't see it. Is there a skip up here? Can I, like, jump to this rock? Oh, that's not bad, actually. Oh, what a miss. Not bad, though. I'm, I'm completely exposed to all enemy fire. But we just stay in down sights so and we keep stacking that crit damage and one-shotting everybody. It's pretty nice. To be honest with you. How are we going to deal with the horde mode? That's a good question. The horde mode, the new 1.1.0 horde mode, adds a whole new wrinkle to how you can play this. I have fire bursts. And fire bursts are fun and cool. Let's go at one with the gun. Very nice. You'd say, well, why are you taking kill confirmed and at one with the gun? Because at one with the gun makes your hip fire better, and at one and uh, kill confirmed makes your aim down sight better. And to that, I say, let's take this instead. It's way more damage, and then I don't have to put any points into precision. Let's go for one more, another respec. So now I don't need any points in precision. I guess I can go full damage. I want to be able to kill things when I'm aiming down sight, and I want to be killing things when I'm hip firing. Aiming down sight takes priority. It's just the way it is. No need to get all night up about it. <laughs> okay. Homing corrosive cloud makes some sense to me. We do need a singularity grenade. If we get Hyperius and we're playing zero, we're going to want a singularity grenade. 1340 shields are drop. Decent absorb chance, but I'm going to stick with my adaptive. Plus, I'm getting a bunch of um, shield and grenade choices here when I shoot this final radio. Da da dee, da da do. So, back to what I was saying in Borderlands 3 Mayhem 10 and 11. I'm, I'm gearing my first flak at Mayhem 10 right now. And I have done some Mayhem 11 um, with him. But my I've only ever geared Moe's to Ma through the Mayhem levels. And I, ever since the launch, I've been just re-gearing my Moe's over and over and over again. As the, the DLCs have come out. Basically like middle, little expansions to the game, right? And I've got I've, I've I've done a couple playthroughs with some other Moses, but the problem was oh here go the longbow slag transfusion very long, very long fuse time. But I think it's the grenade to be at this point. Now we have a sticky longbow singularity with a zero point nine second fuse time. Adaptive shield, which is better at everything but delay. think I take it. I know a lot of people, they really prioritize delay, and I'm one of them, but I'm not taking it. So, I'm gearing my first flak, and let, match like I think my Progenium is right. I can't. Yeah. Good night, friendo. Drop me something. Drop me something good. Okay. I've, I've seen him drop better gear. I've gotten a loot match stick before. That was pretty cool. Okay, so we have ourselves a Captain Flint fight, which realistically shouldn't be too, too difficult. I'm just gonna do regular DPS for now, because hitting is critical is gonna be very challenging. We're just gonna stay in downsides here, I think. Actually, let's get up on this perch and then stay in downsides. Here we go. Oh, I lost my aim downside bonus because I had to reload. That's something I, I, I haven't thought of. Where's my crit? Ooh, that's a crit right there. All right, quantity over quality here. Slag him up. Oh, remember, it's long bow. Oh man, he moved. Oh, I almost got it. Let's 
keep DPSing. It's really hard to hit this guy's crit spot. Oh, there we go. This is quantity over quality here. Got 12 rounds left. Let's go for a boar shot. Come on, we got this. That's a that's a that's a crit. How's that not a crit? I'm hitting this guy right in his eyeball. That might have been a little bit low. That is crazy talk. Am I am I going crazy or is, am I getting gypped out of that damage? I'm not going for crits anymore. Just going to try to DPS him down. One more grenade to do the trick. Maybe a launcher. There we go. All right, Flynnimus Prime. What you got for me? Any good loot? I still believe in this sniper rifle. It's just I have to be able to land crits. And, well, his visor is so tiny. I mean, maybe I should have had the extra zoom that maybe could help me out. But Okay. Blast this. This is our first chance at some really, really nice loot. Miss Moxie's crit. The twister's really nice. The triketra is nice too. I don't like Orphan Maker. But sometimes. Oh man, this is tough. I'm gonna put the Miss Moxie's crit in the number one slot. Okay, there's a lot of good guns here. I just want to think about it for a second. That Orphan Maker? Because I just got all shotguns and I've been I've been I've been prepping for snipers. It has a bandit grip. This lets me shoot it a third time, which is nice. But it's gonna damage me when I use it. I'll slap the twister on. I like the twister. And I can actually do a little A-B test with the Twister real quick. So this is without velocity. That's how fast the tornadoes go, right? And if I take one point here and then four points velocity, uh, do they go faster? They look like they're going a little bit faster to me, personally. Let me know what you think about that. Let's roll. All right, Murderland's Temple. It's the horde round. We have a twister. Oh my goodness. You know, let's let's go ahead and slap on our fire burst. And just run around with a crit and hope to live. Does that sound like a good plan? Okay, they're all dying. Oh gosh, I need to get the token of whatever it is. Wow. I don't know if I have to find the token of wealth before the round starts or what. Maybe that's what gave me all the iridium. Okay. Yeah, the fire burst tech definitely worked. I'm going to be respecting anyway, so let's just head to the next round. Sanctuary. Okay, so we hit box. Mm, grenades. No, come on. Big, powerful, main, primary weapon. Big, powerful, main, primary weapon, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, you really, you really can't ask for anything better. We got a Lyud Mila, Lyud Mila fire, which is incredible. And we also got a infinity pistol. Let's, let's slap everything else that we got into sniper rifle max ammo. Go a couple Grenache. Launcher. Let's roll. Give me something good to eat here, please. Okay, we got Hyperius. So what we're going to try to do is this. We're, I'm going to try to lie you'd mill of this fight. Basically straight up. So, our grenade is going to be the homing... No, the E. Sticky Longbow Singularity. Okay, step one... 
Rinse this guy in the head. And I'm going to take reload speed. Here we go. Soften him up. Soften him up. Okay, he softened up. And then start pulling these guys in. This is going to be a pretty, I think... I'm, I'm not trying to get cocky right here, but I think this is going to be a pretty quick, clean Hyperius kill. Deception me. Get the lineup. I should be good enough. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen. An absolute banger of a Hyperius kill. Thank you very much for that. Let's check our Big Boom Blaster or Actualizer. I mean, it's Big Boom Blaster just for the memes because the Actualizer is kind of trash. Tra it's called the Trashualizer. We do get some actual guns here. Let's see. Interfacer, Seraphim. I mean, this is... you. This is a getting a little bit out of hand, I think. Let's check out the parts in this interfacer. Okay, so it's bladed. The parts are pretty terrible, except for the Hyperion stock. That might even be Torg stock. But I think no, I think it's Hyperion stock. With the blade is pretty rough. The Jacob's grip as well. It's not matching, so I know it's not that great. But the Seraphim comes in clutch as well. All right, let's get out of here. Got my iridium. I think we're we're pretty set up for tiers two and three. Oh, what? What? This is new. Okay, I respect it. Here, you have to you have to jump into the abyss. I like that. Yes, I'm the best at that puzzle, by the way. <laughs> immediately this guy immediately every time it's a new thing i'm the best at it let's go butt stallion yeah that's some that was some pretty sick loot and that chest is still is gone it looks like that chest that spawns up there is only there for tier one i was gonna check it all right so i'm gonna see what happens if i melee this thing all three rounds this is the leviathan it looks like Earth from League of Legends. Leviathan's body does not match its head. Its head is just like this little, like... I personally don't like it. It weirds me out. Alright, let's roll. So, Lyud Milla, Infinity Pistol, Interfacer. These are the tools at our disposal. Seraphim as well. So, I feel pretty confident in our abilities here to, to make good things happen. This is going to remind me of playing Flak. Just saying. I really don't think it even matters. Okay, it does. It certainly does matter. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure we can just shred whoever. Okay, you go down. You're next. And you're after him. There we go. Gunloader. I only need one more kill in this round ends. Okay. That's a roll. Let's do a quick... I'm do a quick... I'm, I'm not going to say that we're completely good to go because we're not completely good to go. Our grenade is still pretty trash. But we do get a nice launcher, though. Uh, but I think these guns... I mean, I'm going to put Lyud Milla in first slot. The poor interfacer just has bad parts, but... The Seraphim, I just don't see myself using right now simply because I don't have the... Has to use the ammo regeneration to keep it up. I'm gonna take fearless over ambush because I'm, I'm the enemies are mostly going to be attacking me. Okay, what do you got for me? Well, wait, is it the seraphim or is it the toothpick? It's the seraphim. Okay, well, I will take the mouthwash though, just in case. And extra shot chance does go pretty hard. Let's go pretty hard. Let's roll. Good. Flesh areas. For areas that I can use my Lyud Milla, please. Thank you. Later, kid. I'm really sorry about that. And that's someone who I didn't want to crit. Like, it's going to get real ugly for them. Like getting best in slot weapon. And I honestly think fire is best in slot. Legendary sniper class mod. The build is complete. I've never gotten a complete build this fast. I really haven't. You can say, like, yeah, you need B-Shield, but at this point, I don't think we even do. We are 
Pack to the gills. Wow. Yeah, this build came together quick and we just started tier two. This was with no tier three pressure plates. Okay, don't don't evolve. Ah, shoot. That's why I have. That's why I've got backup guns, though. I'm gonna burn my Lyud Mila ammo, doing what I do. And that's clean up kills. You should burn the death. There we go. You can't kill me. I'm invincible. 1.0.9 update. If you guys need a history of roguelands, I'm here. Okay. All right. So let's take neither of those. Honestly, I wish there was a neither option. Death mark makes a ton of sense as we make our way towards Kunai. Then it's going to be Innervate, Two Fang, Death Blossom, and then our build is basically complete. Mines of Avarice. This, 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 sometimes this is a difficult round. Things will be a pretty fun, easy round for us. As long as no mimics rear their ugly heads. Tier 2 is a fun round. Like, I, I love the... I, I told them that they should remove the tier system. I'm glad they didn't. I think tier 1 is where you're, like, you're scraping. And you're, like, you're just using your base Borderlands knowledge of, like, different guns and elements. And to, like, try to make your way to get your first, like, primary gun. I think tier 2 is... I like it in tier 2 when I have... When I got a legendary draw. Um, like, just one or two good ones. Oh, ultimate badass, by the way. Gotta be careful here. Let's go for some slag as well. It's not gonna blow up by the time I need, to, need it to, but whatever. Let's go for deeps now. Don't get hit. There we go. I like to have a good gun by tier two. Um, and then tier three is where I think I really like how you basically get access to almost anything you want from how many tier three pressure plates you can get. So like tier one to me is like bare bones. Can you make it? Tier two is you got you maybe got one or two legendaries, um, and now you're starting to get relics that are that are upgraded. I got hard carry as well. Okay, understand. No sniper rifle damage, but the extra extra shot chance is in is basically a. It's the straight DPS increase because we're firing more bullets. Me trying to slide off that hill. So, like, if I'm playing Axe, then I like in Tier 2 having, say, a Hector's Paradise. You know, something that can, you know, carry me through. Or, like, a good grenade. Like, Lob Transfusion with a 0 0.6 second fuse time. I, I take it. I take it and I use it simply... Whoa, whoa, I thought I was done with enemies here. Let's go ahead and Deception out and just pop this Dwarf Miner. That was easy. Okay, looks like that's it. I want to skill up. Let's go innervate for the defense. I've got zero defense, and that's going to give me some healing. Okay, Bloodshot Stronghold despise this map. Despise it. Hate it. Loathe it. But let's shoot some... Do I need radios? Yes, I would like a lob slide transfusion with a, with a shorter fuse time. Later, kid. Sorry to do that to you. Okay, I need to line up a headshot against this guy. Don't mind me, just lining up a headshot against this guy. Headshot accuracy, don't fail me now. Interface for me. That's why we have shotguns. That's why shotguns exist. For this exact reason. To kill the close range targets. And I go back to my Vlad off. Shoot him in the foot, doesn't matter, unless he opens up his crits to me. There we go. Alright, 24. And then 46 left over. I can just shoot one shot. I don't need to continuously fire. Just give me an angle, just for a second. There we go. Very nice. A gun I actually I haven't picked up so far in my Flak Mayhem 10 is the Lyuda. I've been doing a lot of Monarch. I'm actually doing, I'm pushing through DLC 3 right now to get access to the light shell. So maybe like my build will be Monarch, light show, Lyuda. And then like something, for, then like a flex spot. But I, I like having the the clockwork res on me for healing my pet and healing my friends that go down from range without needing to stand there and revive them. Cause that's super dangerous. 
I just realized I didn't get, grab the Mopey's Canyon in the beginning. I don't, I don't think I re grabbed it. Okay. Still got enough ammo. I don't want to fight this guy on, on even terms. Two. One. There we go. I think a better interfacer wipes him here, but that's fine. Okay. I dare Mad Mike to spawn in. Okay, he spawns in. He's gonna win, he's gonna win, he's gonna win this. Okay, I need to back off and focus up. Oh, that was close. I could have died there so easily. If he lands a good shot there, I'm dead. Right, let's shoot uh, the TV number two. Now I have the infinity pistol, which gets the one shot, one kill bonus all the time. All right, TV number three. Pushka, if it was a Drug, maybe I think about it, but I shot all the TVs, didn't I? Did I not shoot the one down below? There's no way. I thought I did shoot it. Luckily, I got super speed. There it is. Okay. And I die. Oh, no. Okay. Don't throw the run now. TV me. All right. So, an amp shield could be kind of useful, to be honest with you. Let's equip it. Let's, let's, let's show people what we're made of. Lob shock transfusion times eight, minus times six for the much shorter fuse time. I, I take the shorter fuse time. Rising shot, two fang. The next time we get kunai. Let's roll. Three horns valley. Okay, this shouldn't be an impossible fight for us. Might be difficult, not impossible. Doc Mercy. Okay, one enemy at a time here. What in the world is this guy doing? Later. Anybody else? You. You're gone. And that crit. And that. It's literally just one crit at a time. Oh, come on, please. I, it was such a clean... Such a clean round until that... Those whiffs. Pretty good. Uh, this Zero is saying stuff. He's... He's... He's talking mad game right now, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Let's go ahead and deception right there have him turn around just for a second sorry bud oh he survives it not for long though not for long though i said there we go looks like i picked up the iridium already i'm at 318 and let's pop this what do we get take the deputy's badge i take a grog nozzle slot too for healing purposes Take a law for funsies. I might do a law and order. Uh, if I get the order shield, I might do some mobbing with it. Something went flying. I'm not sure what it was. Does the creamer do better? I don't think we need the creamer, to be honest with you. I have this bandit that I've got. This one has slag on it. The damage buff that I get from slag is already taken care of in the base. Ooh, Sledge of Shotgun or Kerblaster? Let's do Sledge of Shotgun for the memes, even though its parts are kind of not great. Let's do Kerblaster then. Alright, Two Fang. And as much as I don't want max health, I would like to get to Grim. We're going to go Killing Blow. I don't want to increase my max health. Let's go. Killing Blow might not ever be useful, but it could be. Oh, we got a perfect matchup against... Oh, well, never mind. I thought I was against Snowman. Last time I didn't find, I didn't find the token of giving, but I also didn't have a pause button. Well, I fixed that so I can pause the video now and I can look for it. So I think I will be finding it here. Wow, get absolutely owned. The token of giving is it inside the snowman's mouth. Hey, get off me. Okay. 
Easy round. Interfacer makes quick work of that. That's what it does. That's what it specializes in. Is it on top of this roof? Roof me? Okay, so I'm gonna go... I'm gonna look around for a bit, and I'll see you guys in a second. Bye. I don't know who hit this thing, but it's really starting to make me upset. I cannot find it. I'm going to, but man. I'll see you in a second. Okay, I believe I found it. And it's somewhere I checked my last time, I thought, but... It's inside this. I'm not sure... Oh, when you pick it up, it's the token of giving. You get all these treasure chests. Now, that is, that is cool. That is very cool. It's going to take a lot to be better than what I've got now, but... Oh, maybe I will get an upgrade. Hmm, unfortunately not. So if you look inside the torches, you'll, you'll, you'll find the... Oh my! Oh, look at it! It's 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 not coming out unless this light miller can't do the job. But we now have a nice droog that can hopefully just rinse a tankier boss. Super big! All right, that's it. Ooh, sniper rifle max ammo makes a lot of sense to me. Let's slot that on. Is it going to be better than extra shot chance? Maybe. Okay, so let's go... Grim. I, I do want Grim. Get my shields back, so I'm going to be amp shotting. Okay, so first things first, I'm the realist. The realist. Let's go sniper. Let's go... Pistol. Grenage, Grenage, Grenage. shoddy on the small map because i think i might be using this interfacer in times of need no box this time around and we do get a boss that is resistant to fire and takes extra damage from shock so that drew is going to come in handy here oh droogy droog gotta be down here somewhere there it is the scory droog Bring it on. Sharp rocks at the bottom? Most likely. Bring it on. Alright, surely I can land the crits. Okay, get my death mark on him. You guys thought I would forget. And to be fair, I'd understand if you did. Okay, there's one. I could put on a shock damage relic that I've got. Well, that that's a crit. So, someone pulled up the replay of that one. I was creating that. Okay. Whatever. I was definitely creating that dude. Let's light you mill the rest of these cats. I can hit fire my sniper, and none of them are annoying like skags or like ultimate badasses or anything like that. So. I should have enough max ammo to get this job done. Resisting fire is not not cool of them, to be honest. Okay, maybe doubling up on snipers wasn't the best idea. Okay, kunai. Dang, I can't hit him for the life of me. I'm just a bad player. That's what it comes down to. Okay, now I can't hit anything. Come on. Here we go. Deception out that way. Hopefully that'll do the trick. There we go. Not bad. Very clean. And now we, I think we can just do regular DPS to him now. All right, so here's the new strat. Out of sniper ammo, big, big whoop. We swap to deputy's badge and we go to the twister. There she be. Swap it up. Deception. 
Plant some kunai. And just start hitting with twister shots. We might go down here actually. So swap to our grog. Hopefully heal back up to full. Thank you. Whoa! That hurt them a lot. Good night. Holy cow. Look at the carnage from that twister. That that's just, it's just that's really really big splash damage to be honest with you. I could always go infinity pistol if it comes down to it. Okay, deception out. Kunai, you're real close. Guaranteed that it hits. I think this is doing enough damage to continue doing it. Oh yeah, we're getting there. Here we go, another phase done. Really, this guy survives that? That's crazy. How about you eat some of this Droog though? You're not gonna wanna eat that, are you? I don't have my Droog anymore. There we go. Oh, and I got a green power up for next round, sick. Or for next phase, I should say, not next round. I just need Karo to show up one more time. I think this is the last phase. Once he shows back up, I'm going to Deception. Oh, he actually puts me down. Big crab. I can let everybody evolve. Okay, Deception. Head towards this power up. Grab it. Wait for him at the bottom. Later, kid. Oh, I got a bladed grog. That's pretty sick. I could do. To I could totally go melee build. Ahab don't like the Ahab in general just don't like it okay a fire interfacer has a certain something with a matching grip that's got a certain something what the French call <laughs> a je ne sais quoi all right so we are looking I would say pretty golden heading into tier three this run has been a, a fairly a longer run but we've been you know taking each encounter seriously making sure each room was done right we've only gone down once or twice I feel like we've been really doing a good job okay make sure our weapons are where we want them to be we've got double fire guns and i'm honestly completely fine with that let's roll okay so this one has a new pattern Okay, well, it's not left. So we start with right. Let's go right again. Okay, it's it's not right, right. It's, it's right, left, left. Okay, so it's not, okay. And then it's cross. Okay, so that's easy. So it's, you make a little, you go, you do a little floppity floop, do a floppity floop, a sh keep it straight, and then a flop. Floppity floop, keep it straight, do a flop. It's super easy, just it's, keep in mind that. The first diagonal is called the flop. The second diagonal is called the floppity floop. Right? You add the floop to the flop. And then you keep it straight for one. And then you do the. Then you go back to your first one, your flop. But there's no floop because there's no second one after that. You know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Mini Leviathan. We meleeed it all three rounds. We did what we can to do. But Stanley, do you got anything to say to me? Didn't think so. Let's roll. Also, this back here. Seems that's the second time I've seen that sniper rifle in there, or one very similar to it. Right, the valley. Oh, look, if it's flesh damage enemies, I am all for it. Okay, we're gonna need to swap to interfacer pretty much ASAP here. Ah, we are in trouble. Let's get some grenades out there. There we go. If we get in too much trouble, we can always swap to Grog, Deception. Kunai. Interface for me. Go. Pretty close range area. Not bad. Looks like that guy's armor is like... You can shoot through his armor and get a... 
and get some some shenanigans happening. Oh, little enemy. Well, I need to do this. Swap over. Dang, I didn't get to swap over in time. I can kill that bomber. Should be fine. Just want to make sure that I kill this loot nomad plunderer. He goes down. 8 out of 10. Deception out. Let's actually go ahead and grog. Get back up to full, hopefully. Okay. That's not good at all, actually. It's actually quite bad. Yeah, it's an ultimate badass. That can't damage with anything. She's just going to keep his shield up the entire time. I got to switch back to Lyud Milla. I can't kill him. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how it ends. I... I completely threw but honestly we had a lot of fun getting here and with the amount of guns that we had we actually had a pretty pretty good time the, the big shield we misplayed it pretty hard we should have been a lot more careful and honestly just shot the grog now so to heal back up instead of trying to melee i don't know what i was thinking anyways if you enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe to see more videos like this one and i'll see you all in the next one bye